welcome back to my channel Kentucky Fried Fun and welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be doing my Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just you and me together. Don't let me lose hope. If you are new to my channel my name is Ruth and on my channel you will find cleaning and declutter motivation as well as a decoration inspiration if you like any three of those topics I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and then once you've clicked that red subscribe button be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my content let me just get right into this haul. The first item I want to show y'all is the Cucumber Melon Body Wash. This is the first scent that I ever had from Bath & Body back in seventh grade, which is like about 14, 15 years ago is when I fell in love with Cucumber Melon and I have their lotion. So I decided just to go ahead and pick up myself some shower gel to go along with it. And then sticking with the cucumber melon theme, I went ahead and picked up a couple of their hand soaps, starting off with this one. I loved that it had the ferrous will on top of it. I have gone on two high rides this summer because I feel like I am conquering my fear of heights. I plan to also go on the high ferris wheel that is in downtown Cincinnati this summer. And once I do that, I am or when we are doing that, I'm going to pull this baby out and stick it in our bathroom for the event and the rest of the summer. Sticking with the cucumber theme, this one is Cucumber and Lily, and it is gentle foaming hand soap with essential oils. And I knew I loved the cucumber scent, and I'm sure I will love the Lily that goes along with it. I think I smelled it. Let me see. Can I open it? No. But it smelled good, I think. It sounds like it smells good. Fresh cucumber, green tea, and lily of the valley. It's the foaming soap, and I absolutely love the packaging that was on it. And their hand soaps are three dollars each, I do believe. At that time, they were. And then a couple other things that I got there. Our anniversary when I'm filming this is coming up in a couple days, so I decided to get something fun for us. I had actually seen Love Meg haul these. And because Love Meg called them, I decided I need them in my life for us as well. So they are part of the aromatherapy set. The first one is the uh, essential, they're both essential. And this one is Black Current Vanilla, that is their scent. And this one is the Body Wash and Foam Bath. And then I also got the Body Lotion. And as far as I remember, they smell very romantic. It has the essential oils, absolutely heightens your sensuality, and instills feelings of comfort. So I thought that would be fun to take along with us on our little anniversary trip. And then actually our anniversary is on the 21st and a couple days after that, the 25th, is my husband's birthday. And so I decided I'd get him a little something from the Bath & Body Works men line. And of course I also went with Meg's suggestion of the Paris 2 in 1 for men. And it is the hair and body wash. It is discover adventure in the captivating city of light with Paris. A refined blend of cedarwood, orange zest, and a hint of musk. And then for some lotion, or this is actually the Ultra Shea Body Cream, I went with the suede, I opened it up and smelled it. <sighs> Y'all, that is an amazing manly smell. I can't wait to smell it on my hubby. Then last, but certainly not least, you can't go to Bath & Body Works without getting one of their candles. And while I didn't see the summer one that I wanted, I went ahead and picked up one for Christmas, which I know, we're like not even halfway there, but I love this scent for Christmas and so I can never have enough of it. And it is the Fresh Bals Balsam, I think is how you say it. But anyways, it is just a pine scent, essentially. And I loved the packaging on this one as well. It was fun and cheery. I would light it now if I was 
allowed. I mean, it's my house. I could if I really wanted to, but I think I'll save it for Christmas. And I did switch out the lid for the snowflake lid because if you watched any of my Christmas videos, you know I love my snowmen and snowflakes. So that is all for the Bath and Body Works haul. I actually went to Bath and Body Works with a friend of ours who is staying with us for the summer. She stayed with us last summer and she works at the Ark Encounter. Anyways, while we were there, we stopped by Hallmark and I was looking for some cards. She was wanting a card and I decided to go ahead. I hadn't gotten my husband a birthday card yet, so I went ahead and got him one. But while we were there, we discovered that they were having grab bags, which was literally five Hallmark cards, which can range anywhere from $3.99 to, how much was this one? $4.49. Y'all know the prices of Hallmark cards. They can be crazy expensive. That one was $4.99, $2.99, which is not probably, it's their cheap end. So five cards, Hallmark cards, I have a couple extra here that my friend let me have because she bought seven packs. But there were five cards for a dollar, which I thought was a really great deal. And I'm just going to show them to you really quickly. But this first one is a giving a thanks for you card. And it's a or like a religious one, I guess you could say. It has a verse in it. And as I was saying, $3.99 is the most expensive I would ever spend on a thank you card. The next one is a thank for like New Year's Eve. It says, and suddenly things went terribly right. May this be the start of a lucky, happy year. And then I have a couple birthday cards. The first one is a 60 year old one and then the next one is 85 I was joking around saying how I'll have to hold on these for quite a while our parents are reaching 60 and some of our grandparents are either past 85 or getting there and then this little card that she let me have out of her pack she had a double it says you can do this you've got this just wait and you'll see on the inside it says you may surprise you but you won't surprise me so basically like an encouragement card and then a couple anniversary cards this is the one that was on top of my stack and that's what I was looking for was an anniversary card because I got a birthday card that I absolutely loved and had to get for my hubby but I decided to go with one of the ones in the five pack and this one says so this is what they're talking about when they say soulmate. I won't read the inside because I'll probably save it for next year. And that one was $4.99. Then the one that I'm going to be giving to him this year, which don't worry, he will have already seen it, is you send my heart into hyperspace. Happy anniversary to the best husband in the galaxy. And if you don't know yet, my husband, if you don't know our dog who's sitting right next to me, his name is Chewbacca. So we're obviously Star Wars fans. And that is my little Hallmark card haul. And then another store that we went there that night, I honestly can't remember the name of it. I'll have to ask her what it was, but I splurged a little bit and I don't know, you may or may not be a fan of this TV show, but I saw it and it was the date right before Father's Day. And I had already bought my hubby a cute little like dog Father's Day card and so I thought it'd be super cute. We're super into watching this show right now so it'd be super cute to get him a little, get our little dog a little shirt to go along with it and it just says here me Roar Lannister. I thought it was super cute. If you know what show I'm talking about comment down below. I hope that y'all enjoyed this haul and if you did please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and have that little bell clicked. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Take everything we got, give it an honest shot.